Hello, hello, welcome to another Morgas video. It's been a while since we've uploaded our last video, but we are here back to pick up the pace. First of all, we want to say that we hope that you all haven't been affected too much in this bear market and uh, recent events with like the Luna token, but uh, we are here to help you all and uh, to make the best out of it. So today we're going to explain the tokenomics of any crypto or any token. So tokenomics is a term used to describe the economics of a token. At the bare minimum, it describes the proposed plan for the supply of the token. By determining the supply mechanics of a token, we are able to partly determine the price of that token. Simply put, price is demand divided by supply. Between demand and supply, we can more directly control the supply. Thus, this is where the tokenomics of a particular token or cryptocurrency plays an important role. Let's say apples for our example. Let's denote apples as an apple token. To give a picture of this, so let's say that we have five apple tokens. Now we assume that the demand of the apple is constant. Let's say one. Our price is then one out of five. Now let's say we remove two from the apple tokens from the supplies. Our price is now one out of three. Now what we just did is ensure the price of the Apple token to be higher by ensuring a smaller supply of it in the market, assuming all things are equal of course. Now let's include a time variable. Every day people will buy and sell Apple tokens creating a dynamic movement of supply and demand. If supply does not keep up with demand, the price rises. If there's a constant supply to match demand, we have no price change. If there's too much supply, the price drops. That's where controlling the supply is important. If we release too many tokens at a particular moment, the price drops. That will mean that the buyers are happy because they can buy an easy and cheap, but the producer or sellers of Apple tokens will reap their losses. An increase in supply can offset if there is an equal increase in demand. So you're probably asking yourself now, what can increase in demand? Now that will be the utility. Obviously in the case of an Apple, the utility is limited like eating and nutrition. But let's say a particular apple from a particular orchard or grower allows you a special access to a fruit wine or a share and profits from the orchard. Now you can see that particular apple has a higher utility than the one that's just being eaten. So the additional utility can drive the demand amongst buyers. In decentralized systems like cryptocurrencies, where there may or may not be a monopoly of supply, other methods can be employed to limit the supply. Staking is one such method. Staking reduces circulating supply, and also generating some form of utility for the individual staking it, often in a percentage of APY return. But in the grand scheme of things, this is just allowing for some form of price control. This is a bit like the interest rate sets by central banks. So. That, ladies and gentlemen, is tokenomics in a nutshell. It's just a simple play on supply and demand. But obviously, with cryptocurrency projects, things can get really complicated. We could cap the lifetime of the supply of the Apple token, releasing a certain decreasing supply each cycle. I could pack an Apple token for the price of anything, be it a basket or other fruits or to water, which adds another utility. Or I can say 5% of every Apple token sold goes back into a common liquidity pool or supply pool of Apple token that functions as a buffer for supply, so on and so forth. It can get a bit convoluted, but at its core it's extremely simple, simplistic even. So I hope by thinking of apples you have come out more informed with what tokenomics is. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you really like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. We have loads of content like this and if you have any questions or you want some subject to be covered, please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comment section. Thank you for being here and watching this video and I uh, hope to see you soon.